Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is an unboxing of the Hot Toys movie masterpiece, Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron Black Widow. One six scale collectible figure, item number MMS 288. You can probably find this figure available online uh, as of today. I think the going price is still around 250. Uh, this figure was originally released in 2016. So two years later, uh, I think the price hasn't really gone up because maybe it's a female figure or something like that. <laughs> Usually uh, uh, they don't appreciate in value for some weird reason. But anyway, I uh, borrowed this figure from my friend who uh, wanted to remain anonymous. And this is actually a brand new figure. Like he never <laughs> opened it. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Anyway, I already cut open the top section, so let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Uh, the back here, we have all the people who are involved in making the figure. Right there, if you want to pause, actually, you want to pause and take a look at the sculptors and the designer. Looks like the painter, the head art director, and the paint controller is all the same guy. Okay, and obviously, here we have the warning labels, the UPC and stuff like that. Adult collectible, not a toy. Recommended for ages 15 and up. Okay, so uh, let's see. Figures obviously made in China, and at the time of this video, they have not. Well, okay, here is the uh, notice in multiple languages, and it's still just hottoys.com.hk. Oh, and yes, hottoys.jp too. Okay, so yeah, set up shop in Japan. Okay, so go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, probably better if I do it off camera. This side. There we go. Okay. Open up the flap. Open this up. This flap right there. I don't know why I always have problems opening these type of figures. I guess it's because probably I'm scared. I don't want to like mess anything up. <laughs> it's just silly when a figure is brand new and belongs to somebody else. Okay, so my friend has this figure for over two years and he has never bothered to open it. So. Go ahead and take a look at some accessories. I'm not going to bring everything out. I'm just going to take some accessories out here. Uh, we have this very weird looking uh, modified AR. I guess it's uh, been modified by Ultron or something. Yeah, we'll get into the details once we I get on to reviewing this thing. It doesn't look like you can convert this thing back to an AR-15. <laughs> The magazine, everything is molded in. So yeah, uh, the fire selector is not movable, neither is the trigger. So you can move the stock, that's about it. Doesn't look too bad though, I really like the, uh, the design of this weird looking rifle. At least the vertical grip can move. Uh, this is not one of the better ones, <laughs> to be honest with you. They could have went with something else. Yeah, but I think it's actually based on the actual design, so, yeah. Okay, and then we have these effect parts right here. These are obviously uh, made of soft, rubbery material. Pretty cool, I like that. I'm surprised we don't get these in the newer ones. I think after this, they made a Civil Wars version, and then uh, I have the uh, Infinity War version. So, I guess uh, I'll do a comparison when I do the review. Extra hand pegs, just in case if you break them. And let's see, we have uh, one trigger finger. Does she have any guns? I think she does. Okay, she has one Glock 26. I think this is a Glock 26 right here. Working slide, that's very nice. And we have the removable magazine, I hope. Uh, 
don't want to chance it. So working slide, that's about it. I don't know. I don't really expect a lot from a Hot Toys uh, weapons because it just seems like other brands are a little bit more detailed with their weapons. Hot Toys, uh, the focus is on the figure, I guess. Got a gripping hand here. And we got a closed fist. So yeah, uh, so, uh, eight set of hands, including the one that's attached to the figure. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, we have two of these batons. I don't know, I actually like the new one better. The, the one set from the uh, Infinity War. These one look, they look cool. I like the uh, translucent blue and then they painted over black. Paint work is very nice. Then we have the handle. So that's cool. And then we also have these ones. Uh, I don't think this actually attached to anything. So... Huh. Like the Infinity War one, uh, you can attach it to that little backpack she has. But for these ones, I don't know. Okay, so I think we touch up on all the accessories. Like one of each. So... Let's go ahead and get to the figure itself. Okay, so we have all these. <laughs> also got this to uh, keep the figure, you know, dry and stuff like that. Take a look. Okay, I think this actually looked kind of promising this time compared to the uh, other. The, in the Infinity War version, which I found to be a, sort of a letdown when it comes to the head scope. Oh, well, well, that's not bad. <laughs> really, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead and remove these plastic protection. Protect. Ooh, that's extra protection. So, how do I deal with this? Okay, well, I'll deal with that in the review, but the suit looks very nice. Um, the boot looks pretty good too. This looks to be a very nice figure. She's showing a little bit too much cleavage though. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble again. So, let's go ahead and try to zip this up. Is that how she's like in the movie? I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> if it's movie accurate, then it's movie accurate. I didn't watch the movie, so I don't really care. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's a Disney movie after all, right? Since it's owned by Disney, so... I don't think uh, this is something that they wanted to do. But either way. Seems like she has some problem standing. Well, we'll figure it out in the review. Okay, and then she also have the uh, uh, the stand, which nobody's ever gonna use. Why is that? Because it takes up too much space. Look at that. You can have like two figures standing next to each other with that. And I'm pretty sure every figure in this series have this kind of stand with their own individual placard. And then we have this thing that attached to that. So th these are the saddle style stand, which I don't really care for. I mean, it's effective, as simple as effective, but I would prefer one with a smaller base. 2015 Hot Toys. Okay, so, okay, well, the, a lot of the uh, figure were released in 2015, but this figure in particular, I think, came out in 2016. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually it came out in 2015, so this figure is 3 years old. Wow. And apparently my friend never touched it. Okay, I think that is it for the unboxing. Stay tuned for the review. And that is pretty much it. I'm actually kind of excited to review this figure. It looks really nice. Yeah, better than my uh, <laughs> Infinity War version. Damn it. I think I'm gonna have to trade that figure for something else or sell it on eBay. Thanks for watching.